Are your Sora videos out of sync? Tired of generating Sora videos where the lip sync is all out of whack? Then you'll love Design's amazing solution. And we'll look at it on today's program on Bob Doyle Media. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix some of the lip sync problems you may run into when you use video generators such as Veo or Sora that produce lip synced videos. The technique I'm going to show you today will work with one person or multiple people. It will work with Sora whether you're using Cameo or not and it will also work with Veo 3 and 3.1 and even with videos that you make with the Veo 3.1 start and end frame. So let's just get into it. To accomplish this we're going to be using Design's lip sync tool. I just did a video the other day on Design's multi-character lip sync and it's that lip sync tool that's going to solve our problems. First, let me just clarify what I'm talking about just in case you aren't clear. How many times have you created a Sora video, whether or not it's a cameo, meaning that it features you or a character that you've created, and the lips aren't moving or they aren't moving correctly with the right character? Something like this. I'm looking straight at the lobster roll because it's my birthday and this is how I'm celebrating. All buckled in, ready to go, climbing the hill now. This is the calm before the seafood storm. Here we go. Woo ha ha. So I get it that it could have just been a Sora choice to just do a voiceover on this, but I wanted this character to be saying those things. So first let's just click on lip sync to go to the lip sync tool. We will choose upload a face video because this is a video as opposed to a still image. And we're just going to upload that particular video. Once that's loaded, we're going to select the face because it's the only one in this particular video and click on next. At this point, we can do anything we want to with what he's saying in the lip sync here, but let's just go with using the audio that was created on the original video. Now to use that audio to drive this animation, we're going to have to extract the audio from the video as an MP3 or a WAV file. Now there are all sorts of ways you can do that. There are free online tools. I personally use a tool called File Converter that runs only on Windows, I'm afraid. It's a shell extension where you can just right mouse click on any file that you want to convert, a menu pops up with the different formats that you can choose from, and it just does it right there in the same folder where the video is. And you don't have to load any kind of program and export it as whatever you got to do. But there are plenty of programs, probably web pages, where you can just drag and drop an MP4 file and get an MP3 back. This is just the tool I use because it's nice and local. Once you have that MP3 file, now you can use it to drive this video. I would just click on upload audio, drag that MP3 file here, and we can preview it. I'm looking straight at the lobster roll because it's my birthday and this is how I'm celebrating. So that's the audio that we want. And then we would click on generate and let the lip sync tool do its thing. That gives us this result. I'm looking straight at the lobster roll because it's my birthday and this is how I'm celebrating. All buckled in, ready to go, climbing the hill now. This is the calm before the seafood storm. Here we go. Woo ha ha. So now I've got lip sync throughout the entire video, which is what I wanted. If I really wanted to do something with this, I could take that audio into a regular editor and add roller coaster sounds and all that. But now at least the lips are on point. I do have kind of a big smile there. So the lip sync is kind of weird and it is a Sora cameo of me. So that's always a little twisted too. Here's another one generated by Sora where the lip sync wasn't consistent throughout. Obviously it was a choice. It could go either way, but when the face was showing, I really wanted it to be talking, but here's what I got originally. Here's the deal about road safety. Safety, right? You think you're paying attention, but all it takes is a second looking at the camera like I'm doing right now and whoa, see that guy? He's drifting over. Anyway, keep both hands on the wheel, eyes up and yeah, I know I'm a hypocrite. Oh no, <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. This is, this is amazing. So just there at the end, right before I said, you got to be kidding me, this is amazing. I'm rolling around on the money and I'm not saying anything. So I did the exact same technique, dragged the video into the lip sync tool, dropped in the MP3, but just watch at the end where he's first rolling around in the money and I wasn't saying anything before. Here's the deal about road safety, right? You think you're paying attention, but all it takes is a second looking at the camera like I'm doing right now and whoa, see that guy? He's drifting over. Anyway, keep both hands on the wheel, eyes up and yeah, I know I'm a hypocrite. Oh no, <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. This is, this is amazing. So now where I say, yeah, I know I'm a hypocrite, I do get the lip sync. Now you may notice that the quality of the lip sync isn't the same as what Sora originally output. So if you like the original better, just use that part of the video and use the part where design filled in the lip sync blank and just edit it like a normal person. I'm sorry, like a video professional would. In this example, it's two people and there wasn't necessarily anything wrong with the lip sync. But as I say, I have the opportunity now to embellish what I originally did or with what Sora came up with. So here's the original that Sora came up with and the prompt was based basically that you're sitting next to someone on a plane and it's awkward conversation. This is going to be a long flight. Good seat. Yeah. Forgot my headphones. <clears throat> so 
Not much going on there dialogue wise. It is what I prompted, but with the design lip sync tool, I can add different dialogue on top of these characters and even extend the scene further. So the process on this one is basically the same. You go to lip sync, you drop in the video you want. Because design doesn't currently allow you to clone your own voice, and I wanted to use my own voice in this, I created the dialogue for this scene using another platform called Fish Audio, which I just did a video on. And this allows me to create a dialogue between these two characters. And then I can export each individual dialogue and then import them onto the timeline in order, which is what I did here. So is this home or are you headed home? Oh, um, I'm going to visit my niece. Really? I had a niece once. Uh, not sure whatever happened to her. Really? Nope. Oh, did you ever reach out to her or anything? Who? Your niece. Did you ever try to contact her? Sorry, I don't have time to talk about this. Now let's look at an example done with Veo 3.1. This video here was actually created in the design platform using VO 3.1's reference feature. So for one reference image, I used this guy here. And for the second reference image, I used this can of Bob Doyle Media Soda. No home should be without a couple of six packs. You can see this right over here. Here's the image of the man, and here's the image of the soda can. And the prompt is, the man in the first image is holding the can in the second image, saying, you know, being an AI avatar can really make you thirsty, and nothing quenches an AI thirst quite like Bob Doyle Media Soda with all the liquidity of soda, but none of the flavor. So that was the VO3 script, and this is what I got. You know, being an AI AI avatar can really make you thirsty, and nothing quenches an AI thirst and quite to it like Bob Doyle Media Soda. So it didn't have time to do the entire script, but you heard it say AI AI twice, and then it glitched on one of the lines later. So this is a perfect use case for this. The process was only slightly different this time. I still select the character and all of that, but for the audio, instead of using any kind of pre-recorded audio, I used text to speech and just typed in the line here that I wanted him to say using just one of these voices. You know, being an AI avatar can really make you thirsty and nothing quenches an AI thirst quite like Bob Doyle Media Soda, with all the liquidity of soda, but none of the flavor. So see, with design, I can not only fix the lip sync problem, but I can get the entire script in there, because I'm not contained to the same time limits as a native Veo 3.1 video. So on this video, which was about an 80-year-old woman complaining because no one helps people cross the street anymore, I forgot to click the audio button, so it came out silent. Another perfect use case for using this lip sync tool. Again, I just drop in the video to the lip sync tool. I brought in an audio file that I created again in Fish Audio to give it a more realistic sound, and then I end up with this. I can't believe it. 80 years old and I can't get one person to help me cross the street? It's ridiculous, I tells you. This next video was created using the Veo 3.1's ability to use start and end frame. So this was the start frame for the animation. And this was the end frame. So same two characters, they're clearly in a shopping mall. And my prompt to Veo was, two women walk from one part of the store to the other, talking about how the weather is changing. And here's what it gave me. I can't believe how much the weather has changed already. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it feels like summer just ended. Now, first of all, they didn't do the exchange. The dialogue was between two people, but the blonde, the Tracy-ish person, said both lines and the Presley type person didn't say anything except ha. Huh. And then of course you got this weird last frame here. So it just didn't really work. So I used the multi-character lip sync ability of design and I used text to speech to create all new dialogue for the two of them. And now I have this. I can't believe how much the weather is changing already. Oh, I know. I thought it would never stop raining last night. It was crazy. It's still raining at my house. So. Cute, right? But now there's no weird distorted picture at the end. They both had a logical conversation and exchanging the lines like it should be. Now it's not a perfect solution and there are times when you're gonna have to do a little bit of hacky stuff if you wanna get some things to work. For example, some types of multi-character videos. First, let's watch this video. Hi there, can I get an order of animal fries, please? Sure thing, anything else for you? That's all. All right, that'll be 425. Paying with card? Yes, here you go. Thank you, your number's 42. We'll call it in a minute. Perfect. All right, so that's all wacky. She's the customer, and he was placing the order, and she was doing all the restaurant stuff. So that's not at all what we want. But if you'll notice, the very first frame of this video only shows his face. And if I go to the lip sync tool and load this video in, it's only going to see the first face. And right now, anyway, there's no way for me to scroll through the video to find the other faces. So it would seem I wouldn't be able to do this because I only have access to one face. But not with today's technology, my friends. 
Here's what I did. I loaded in the video into Filmora in this case. It can be any editor where you can pick out video frames. And I just scrolled around and found a picture like this of the kid and exported that. And then I found another good picture of Tracy where she's facing the camera and I exported that. Anybody see where we're going? Back in design, I can go to the text to image module. I can drop both these images onto the canvas here and then I have direct access to them from the chat editor. So right now I've got her, I can click on the plus sign, add him, change this prompt to say the woman is posing for a selfie with the boy in the burger costume, choose the C dream model to put these two together. Now I end up with this image here, which I then save and then drop into the first part of the video in Filmora and render that out. Now I have a video with this as the first part of the video. And now design will be able to see both faces. And here's the result we get. Hello and welcome to Burger Farm. Thanks. Can I get some animal fries and a shake? Yeah, but it's gonna cost you money, honey. Luckily, I have money in the form of plastic, so it'd be great if you change your attitude and act more professional. Okay, so you notice that it wasn't perfect. When we had the shot of her face very large, the lip sync just did not take. And I'm not really sure if it's because the face was so large. Can I get some animal fries and a shake? Yeah. Or whether maybe design thinks she looks so different that close up and didn't recognize the face to apply the lip sync. But I'm sure you get the concept and this will apply to most of your projects. And if you don't want that first frame of them sitting there together, just make sure that the talking starts after that once the faces have been established for design so it knows what to animate and then just shave off that first part where there's nothing going on anyway. So I hope these various techniques will help you to save some of your Sora and Veo output where the lip sync was wonky and you don't want to just keep generating and generating and generating. This gives you far more control over your lip sync results and a lot of creative options as well that you don't normally have. If these are the types of tips and tricks you like to learn about, well, why not subscribe to this channel? Because this is the type of thing we explore all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will.